Hello everyone and welcome to part 1 of my guide on how to get rich in GTA Online, but uh, this one is not for starters, so uh, if you just bought the game and you're just starting GTA Online, leave this video because you're not gonna find anything useful for you here. I'm going to be talking about heists today and businesses and things players who already play can do. So uh, yeah, let's get into the video. And a car crash, because I'm playing life when I'm talking. But okay, so like I said, I'm gonna be talking about heists and I'm gonna be talking about which heist is the most beneficial and which heist is the worst one you can do. But I'm not going to be talking about um, I'm not gonna be talking about uh, original GTA heists, so like the fleece a job, series funding, prison break, Pacific, we're not gonna be talking about this today. Instead, we're going to be talking about Doomsday Heists, uh, Casino Heists, and uh, Cayo Perico Heists. So, which one of these three is the most beneficial? In my opinion, it's Casino Heists. Because the Casino Heist pays out a standard take that you get listed before you start the heist. Like, they tell you you're going to get paid off 2.5 million. And my car broke. They tell you 2.5 million or something like this. And some people say that Cayo Perico is better than the Casino Heist, but I don't think so, because in Cayo Perico you don't have a set take, you know, like, they don't tell you, like, you're gonna get so much and so much, like, it's about what you pick. Like, if you take the, um, if you take gold or uh, cocaine or cash, like, it's about what you pick, but the best target in Cayo Perico is, like, the Panther statue, uh, with uh, gold and uh, cocaine, if you can. But... Okay, but let's talk about the Casino Heist, so which approach to Casino Heist is the best one and why it's it's the big con and that's because it's very easy. As you could see in my videos, even without modding we could get to the vault very easy with the group sex approach, which you get by scoping out the tunnel. I will be doing a scoping tutorial on the Casino Heist if you want to, like a whole scoping tutorial. Just let me know in the comments if you want one. But uh, yeah, a Casino Heist is very beneficial because you get a set take and it's very easy and it's very fast. You do it under 15 minutes, like even, I can show you without modding, I can make a tutorial without modding on how to do a Casino Heist fully, like preps, scoping out and things. I can also do a tutorial without modding on a Cayo Perico, but... Okay, so which one is the worst one? Like, the worst ones are Doomsday Heists because they pay out really low, like, the best Doomsday Heist? It's the Doomsday Scenario, it pays out 1.5 million, but if you do criminal mastermind challenges, like you do everything with the same team, lead without dying and shit, you do this, you get a lot more money. But so far the best one should be the casino, if you do the right preps and you choose the right equipment and things, it's very easy. But okay, let's stop talking about heists right now because i think i've said enough about heists if you want something more about heists i can make a whole separate video on it like how to do each of the heists and uh, i'm gonna be explaining even more in depth why it's why this heist is the best one and this one is the worst one and shit now let's talk about some mc businesses so as you can see on the map on my map right now I got a motorcycle clubhouse, and this is what you need in order to get your MC business, okay? Like, the, the weed business, cocaine business, a document forgery office business, your meth lab, and your counterfeit cash factory. And as you can see, I got them all in Los Santos. Like, these are the best ones you can buy. Uh, everything is in Los Santos, uh, nothing outside of Los Santos. So let's talk about this for a while, and this is not like a big subject, it's just something like a bunker, like you buy this business, you buy supplies for it, and then when it's when the stock is full you sell it, but for this, for this thing, it's purely passive, don't make it your main income stream, like, 
don't rely on it like oh yeah i'll get money from my cocaine from my um, cocaine lockup that's complete bullshit like you need friends for this you need to set this you need to sell it with friends you can't lose equipment because if you lose equipment on the mission like you've lost you've lost a couple of thousands mate like this is not good like you shouldn't be focusing on this this is purely passive and uh, yeah you can sell it with friends also you can buy supplies or steal supplies. I prefer to buy supplies because I already have money. Like, I mod heists and I... But if you are doing it legitimately and you want this as your passive income stream and you don't have anything else to do at the moment, just steal the supplies because the mission is not that hard, to be honest. Like, to steal the supplies for the businesses. But okay, I'm, gonna, I'm going to be talking about uh, also something with uh, MC businesses right now, but not the MC businesses themselves, but the nightclub. This nightclub, as you can see, is like also located in Los Santos. It's one of the best ones I could find. But, okay, so let's talk about this for a while. Now, this nightclub, it acquires goods from uh, my businesses. Look, in the nightclub you hire workers and then you tell them to acquire goods from your businesses. Like, if your businesses are producing, like they have supplies, also, a percent of this comes into the nightclub, then you can sell that percentage and get extra money from it, so this is good. Like, I didn't set up my nightclub yet, I wasn't even in the nightclub, but I just know about it because I also, like, did the game legitimately on my PS4. Like, I didn't only mod, I'm modding for entertainment now. But, uh, yeah, so this is basically the whole nightclub thingy, like, it acquires goods. You can also use your nightclub as a passive income stream for if you... Uh, increase the nightclub's popula popularity then you can also get like 50,000 a day for the nightclub in the nightclub save but this isn't worth it it's just like with the arcade the arcade is just better because you can do casino heists here and you can basically uh, also get 50,000 50,000 dollars as passive income in the arcade save but you don't have to do anything for that you just have to buy some games in the arcade in my opinion the arcade is still better but Nightclub and MC businesses is also a good thing. Also, let's talk about the bunker for a while. Like, the bunker, it makes you money also for uh, for supplies. It turns supplies into stock, into weapons. It also goes into the nightclub. And you can sell it with your friends. But with for every of these businesses, there goes one thing. You can sell it with your friends or you can sell it without your friends. But you just have to... Pay attention if you do it without friends because the bar has to be like low so you don't get like free planes with filled with cocaine and then you have to sell it on yourself and this is impossible you know like these things just don't get that but which business is the most beneficial the most beneficial business is the cocaine lockup because it makes the most money but you have to resupply it very often from the MC businesses and then outside the MC businesses bunker is the most beneficial business thingy you can get if you want passive income and not just do some something you have to do things for like a casino heist or a doomsday heist by the way this is a facility and here you can do doomsday heists and you can basically modify your uh, avenger and your truster and these are doomsday vehicles you get discounts on them from if you do the heists but it's it's just not that beneficial because you only get discounts on vehicles and you get low uh, money payments only if you do some challenges but this is just too much work but okay i've talked about a couple of subjects on the map right here what's more i can talk about like i don't know anything about the auto shop yet i purely bought this because you know i have money in the game i didn't do anything with it yet like, I'm, a, I'm an OG player, I know more about, like, the things itself. But okay, let's talk about an apartment, okay? Because I have nothing to talk about, so I'm gonna talk about an apartment. Not the original heist, it lets you do the original heist. But I'm just gonna talk about what's the best apartment in this game. Like, it's located somewhere right here, next to the cocaine lockup I have. And it's called the Del Perro Heights apartment. Wait, I will show you. I'll show it to you. Wait. Go to Dynasty 8. View property listings. Load to 
no, high to low, and somewhere right here. Okay, this is the one, Del Perro Heights Apartment 7, this is the best one because it's high end, it lets you do the original heist. It's the cheapest high end apartment you can get. And it stores 10 cars in the garage, so it's basically the best one you can get. Like, if you're... If you don't want to spend much on uh, apartments. I... I don't think I got every apartment yet I can get. Because you have a limit, like, you can get five of them. I didn't get five of them, I got one. I got the most expensive one. But okay, now let's go over and talk about... The properties, which one are the best? Which ones are the best ones? Okay, so the best arcade, in my opinion, I don't have the best arcade, in my opinion, I have the most expensive one, but the best arcade, in my opinion, is located here. It's the Video Get In in La Visa. It's only like 1.9 million. It's the cheapest one you can find in Los Santos, because you have like, like, you have like two outside of Los Santos, you have these two. These are just useless useless as hell you can't you can't even do the preps properly okay this one is the best one in my opinion because it's the cheapest one in casino and it's in uh, uh, in Los Santos and it's close to the casino right here okay the best nightclub in my opinion it's this one because it's cheap and it's in Los Santos it's cheap and it's in Los Santos this one, I just got it because it's the most expensive one, but get this one, the Vespucci Kennels. It's a very good one. Now, don't go for the Elysian Island Island Nightclub because it's just not smart. Because you will have troubles um, delivering your goods. Also, don't go for the LSIA Nightclub, you'll also have trouble delivering the goods. Okay, Motorcycle Clubhouse, the best one. It's just the cheapest one in Los Santos, but I think it's this one. Because I bought it, it's the most expensive one. Or you can just go for a La Mesa Clubhouse. Or for a Rancho Clubhouse. Something in Los Santos. Don't buy anything outside. Los Santos. Now, a bunker. You should really go for the farmhouse bunker. Because it's the closest one to Los Santos. But it's one of the most expensive ones, too. So... You know, just go for the Route 68 bunker if you want a bunker, it's in the middle of the map. It's not that far from the farmhouse bunker. So yeah, you can either buy the farmhouse bunker or the Route 68 bunker, but I don't recommend anything else. But okay, uh, a facility, if you want to buy a facility, you can buy this one, the Land Act Reservoir, but don't really, like... I only bought this one because it's the most expensive one and it's close to Los Santos. Like, it's certainly a good one, you go right like this. But I don't even care, you can even buy the Polito Bay facility because it's the cheapest one. The heists are outside of Los Santos, so they're not in Los Santos, but I'm, I'm just not gonna be moving outside of Los Santos that far. Just for a doomsday heist that isn't even worth it that much. So, yeah, I just bought this one. But you can go with the Polito Bay one. Now, for the hangar, I didn't even use my hangar to be honest, I just bought it because this is the most expensive one. But you can buy any hangar you want, basically. I don't know much about it, but... I just know that LSIA... Should be worth more. Like, these ones are more expensive for Z Zancundo. But you should go for LSIA because it's inside of Los Santos. I was dumb because I bought one outside of Los Santos. I think I'm gonna change to this one actually. Later on. Not now. And auto shop. I just bought the Lamisa auto shop. I don't even know if it was the most expensive one. I just bought a random one. And I upgraded fully. Okay, now Maze Bank. We talked about this. We talked about Dynasty 8 things. Now, I think we already gone through everything that basically makes you money in this game. Besides original GTA heists and auto shop jobs. These are just not worth it. They don't pay out much. Like auto shop jobs, I saw, I saw the Union Depository job. 
It only paid out like 300,000. It's not worth it. Like, who wants 300,000? That's not much. But I'll show you one more way you can make money. Oh, oh I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Shit, shit, shit. I forgot. Of course, for the Cayo Perico heist, you need to go to... Wait. I'm doing it wrong. Okay. So you need to go to Music Locker Club, which is located right here. And then you need to meet Miguel Madrazo, which is the son of Martin Madrazo, if I'm saying it right. And he will introduce you to the Cayo Perico, then he will let you buy a Kasatka of War Stock. Like right here, this submarine. You need it to do the Cayo Perico heist. Yeah. This is what you need. I just basically bought everything, but the Avenger, uh, you get a discount from Bogdan Problem, Doomsday Heist. Mobile Operations Center, you can buy one if you have a bunker. And these just have a couple of missions, like these two. The MOC, Mobile Operations Center, and the Terrorbyte. And the Terrorbyte is something you should buy if you have a, if you have an arcade. And you can buy a Terrorbyte if you have a nightclub. But a Terrorbyte, basically, if you go inside, it gives you a hacker for the casino heist, which only takes 9% of the cut, but gives you like 3 minutes inside the vault. Inside the vault, like 3 minutes and 20 seconds or something like that. So it's just worth it. Okay, let's see. An oppressor MK2 is definitely worth it. You, sh you, sh you should buy it. You can also complete 5 client jobs as a VIP CEO or MC president in... I believe it's in the terror bytes to complete these. And these also have a cooldown, so just... You can go for a trade price, like you can buy a nightclub, buy a terabyte, complete five client jobs. These have like a half half an hour cooldown. Or if you're just very rich, you can buy it now for four million. I say you'd rather do this. I bought one just for four million, but you should do this, like complete five client jobs into terabytes. And also the terabyte has a specialized workshop where you can modify your oppressor. But that's just something you can buy. Okay, let's see. Let's see more. Thruster, like I said, is a Doomsday Heist vehicle. Stromberg is also a Doomsday Heist vehicle. Like, uh, this is the discount from Bogdan Problem. The Luxo is also a Doomsday Heist vehicle. I know of. There was probably the Kanjali tank. It's also a, a Doomsday vehicle. But do don't buy the Oppressor MK1. Like, this one is not even worth it. I don't know why it's still in the market. I mean, it is because it was the first oppressor, but it's not worth it. The Juco Death is for free, li for free. Like, I should say, if you're... If you want a car, you should really take this one. You know what? Fuck it, I'm taking it. I deliver it to... Nightclub Garage B2. Yeah. But I'm taking it because it's free. Yeah, so you should buy it. Wait now, legendary motorsport. What should you buy off here? Mm. I don't know if I only have this for free, but you should definitely buy it. It's like nine hundred thousand real worth. I mean, even though it's not like it's not gonna sell for nine hundred thousand in a low standards customs. Oh, it's a holiday gift. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. You won't have it because I modded. Okay, okay, never mind. But okay, um. Well, let's see, what can we buy here? From the highest. Alright, let's see. Okay, these are definitely worth it, because they're on a discount. There's, these are definitely worth it, the uh, Amorous and the Krieger. I think just a lot of discounts I see here. Wait, there is also a car... Like, if you complete the casino heist on a specific approach, like on Big Con, I believe it's this one. I'm not sure. Yeah, this one. Look. If you complete the casino heists... Uh, on, um, on the Big Con and you meet Young Ancestor, which I will show you in another video, I'll make a tutorial on the casino heist, how to do things. If you meet Young Ancestor, it's just a guy, and you get his outfits, and you complete it with his outfits, you actually get a pretty big discount on this car, so... Why not grab it? Okay. I don't see anything that's worth buying, except for 
like things that are on the discount. A Nagasaki Shotaro is also worth buying, it's like the fastest motorcycle in the game on the ground. It's pretty worth it, but... Okay, I've talked through all the ways to make money, basically. But for these who are still watching, I want to show you one more thing. Like, when you go to your phone, you have this play quick job. Now you can go on call for basically any job here. Like, don't go on call for these series, like, these are just not worth it. Just go on call for heists, like the Kayo Perico heist, Diamond Casino heist, Doomsday heist. And, you know, heist, some, yeah, this heist, just standard heist. You can go on call and you can basically play, play with randoms and get free cash, like, be happy with 15%. Don't beg for more because you may get kicked. But just be happy with 15% because it's passive income, like, it's not even your heist. Okay, so, this was basically my video on how to make money. I hope it was pretty clear, but what you should buy first, basically opt for an arcade, because an arcade is very important. It's, it, just is, it just is a money maker, it's just de a destiny to buy an arcade, like, you should buy an arcade. It's just very good. I can't talk about it. Look, it makes $50,000 in passive income, and it lets you do heists that pay out much. Like, it's very worth it. But okay, so... What you should do, basically, is subscribe to me, like, and join my Discord server, and say subscribe. Like, my Discord server is in my About Me page, because that also can get you a free heist. Like, I don't know if you noticed, my subscribers went up recently. I mean, if you're new to this channel, you basically didn't notice, but some of you did. And this is because I'm entering random sessions. And I'm um, just saying, if you want free 4 million from a modded casino heist, just subscribe to me. Like, this is what you also should do. If you're new to this channel and you're watching, subscribe to me, because then you'll get a free casino heist if you join my Discord and say subscribe and send me a screenshot on DMs. Like, it's that easy. I can give you 4 million from a casino heist. But okay, so, if I hope you enjoyed this video, it was clear, and if you are waiting for the casino guide, uh, and the Kayo Perico guide, I'll make, gu I'll, I'll make a separate guide on every heist in this game. But, uh, yeah, so, basically, bye everyone.